welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna Redfield. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos around Notion, social media, and ADHD. So let's just get started with today's video because we're gonna be talking all about how to plan short form content like TikTok and Reels on Notion. Now, if you've been living under a rock or something, you may not know, but short form content like TikTok, Reels, YouTube Shorts are all the rage right now and they are probably the most common type of media in 2022. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to actually plan out content, how to think of ideas for short form videos and how to actually make them. Now, for me, what I like to do is to make my content in a separate app if possible. Sometimes it's not possible depending on the type of video you're making, but that way you can actually have a copy that has no watermark. You can upload it to multiple sites and for the most part, it doesn't actually have the music that you could have because for example, on YouTube shorts, I've uploaded TikToks and immediately got them, them removed because of copyright issues. While on TikTok, they're fine. So it's interesting with some of the copyright issues with songs. So making sure that your content has the original without music is really awesome to be able to repurpose that content. Now, why do we make short form content anyways? Well, one of the main reasons is, is it's the most popular form right now. It's easier to make than long form content like YouTube, which I know I've done videos on. For those of you who are not ready for a YouTube channel, short form content like TikTok and Reels is probably the best route and a great way to get into video. Now, if you didn't know, I've actually been making videos on the internet for about 15 years. I went to film school and have a big background in video editing and production. So I know a lot about this topic and we're gonna be talking about how to actually come up with some ideas uh, using what I love, which is the endless content idea generator from uh, Dickie Bush and Nicholas Cole. I absolutely love them. I recently took their online course called Ship 30 for 30. It's an online writing course on Twitter for 30 days. It was game changing for me when it come to how to think of ideas for content. I already was pretty good at it, but this like blew me out of the water. So if you haven't checked them out, uh, make sure to go follow them on Twitter and check out their course. The course is about $500, but to me it was totally worth it. It was one of the best courses with information I've ever gotten about writing content. They also have two books that I highly recommend as well if you're ever stuck with content. Another one of my favorite books for content is called The Profitable Content System by Mir Cothand. I've mentioned this book before. She also has a book called The One Hour Content Plan, I think, or something. Um, so for me, like coming up with ideas for the content, that is one of the biggest holdups that people have when making content. So why I like using Notion is it's a great place to put ideas or things and really figure out, okay, well, who's my target audience? What type of content am I making? Is this something that's trending or is this something that I can use six months from now? I always recommend trying to do a mix of things, whether that's something maybe that's a, a trend to kind of get some views, but at the same time, going back to the point of you're trying to brand yourself and, and put your voice out there. And by doing trends, it doesn't always help you get noticed as much as you'd think. You might get a lot of views, but people might not remember your name or even follow you. So one of the things that I always tell people is make sure to start utilizing your name in your content because that's how people remember it, right? So that's one big important step as well as just really making sure that you give your expertise and you become the one that is who people go to or think of around your niche or topic. So today we're gonna to be walking through my content planning template, which is available on Gumroad. So the template is $15. I think it's a really great deal for what you get with the template and you can plan out your short form content. So when we talk about short form, these are the things I always like to include. TikTok, Reels, as well as YouTube Shorts, and then also one that people forget about, uploading it to Pinterest. Pinterest is one of the biggest search engines on the planet, so making sure that you upload your content. I actually just upload a straight TikTok with the watermark, it's totally fine. I wouldn't do that on uh, Shorts or on Reels, but for Pinterest, it totally works. So I definitely like to make sure that people know that it's a TikTok video, and it actually brings more traffic to my TikTok. So let's just jump into it and I'll walk you through um, a little bit about the content planning as well as the template. So let's just hop into it. Okay, so this is what the content calendar template looks like, which you can get from Gumroad again. Um, and one thing I've added here, so this is how it looks when you first get it. Um, people can obviously, you can customize it. But one thing I did add is, let's just say that we have an idea for a reel or TikTok. 
We can put it here. Usually this is where you would call it something. You would have a title, whether that's the, the topic, whatever it is. When you open it up, we now have a short form content checklist. This is just a basic checklist after you make the reel where it's, did you upload to reels, upload to TikTok, upload to YouTube shorts, upload to Pinterest. Now, obviously for YouTube shorts and reels, you have to be under a minute. Um, I think reels is expanding. I'm not sure. Uh, otherwise you could just be a regular video. Pinterest, I think it can be a little bit longer. Actually, you know what? I think they might have a one minute limit as well. Um, so just to note, if you are uploading to multiple sites, make sure to keep it under a minute as well as without any of that copyrighted music, right? So Reels has a little bit of, you know, difference with music. Uh, same with YouTube Shorts and Pinterest. I think Pinterest is probably the least picky. I've never had any like content issues with Pinterest. But this is just to kind of remind you that there's other places to upload content. The other thing I've also added is part of the content idea generator, which again is the endless idea generator created by Nicholas Cole and Dickie Bush. I will link all of their stuff below, their books, everything. I'm a big fan of theirs. So one of the things that they talk about is the first thing they have is a type. What type of thing are you doing? Is it a how-to guide? Is it a curated list? Is it an opinion, a story, a credible talking head? Analytical, here's the numbers, you know, aspirational, here's how you can do it. And then anthropological, here's why. This is part of their system. I can, again, put the video, you definitely need to watch it. But this is a first step towards coming up with something for a piece of content, especially if you're wanting to grow your audience. So for example, one of the things I could do is like, five books that changed my life. That would be a curated list, right? I'm actually probably gonna make one of those this week. So the idea here is, is it a story, a lesson, a mistake, a habit, etc. For this, it would actually be about books. So then you can click that. And then the last one is the credibility. I share what experts say, I'm the expert or I share my opinion. I would pick either between one of these two, um, usually opinion. I'm usually an expert, but I also have an opinion. So really it depends on what the topic is. But going back, so this is again, just that one piece of content. So you can also choose TikTok. You can also choose, actually, you know what? I might change this So if you guys want multiple. So we have, uh, you know, TikTok and then we have Instagram. So if you wanna make it Instagram Reels, we also have YouTube video and Pinterest, I don't think I had that. Pinterest, so that's not part of the template. So if you wanna use those as whatever it's called, so let's call this like top five favorite books. If that's gonna be your TikTok in whatever your industry or niche is, that's the other thing to think about is who is your audience? So whatever your audience, niche, or industry is, um, for me, a lot of it's ADHD notion and marketing. So for me, one of the things I wanted to do was maybe my top five marketing books, right? My top five books about ADHD. So figuring out again, who the audience is. You can also choose the apps. This is for afterwards. So how many views did it get? This is great for TikTok as well. If you wanna track like how many views it got, you could even duplicate this and have it for different things. Uh, obviously the date, hashtags, marketing goals, all this is available. You can set this up yourself if there's any specific tags you wanna have. But now you'll see that it is here on the content calendar. So this is specifically how I can plan out. One thing that I used to do, which I found was a little bit too much, was I also had a sound library of all of my favorite sound because the thing about TikTok specifically is sometimes the sounds don't have names that you recognize. There may be somebody's voice or something. So maybe in the description over here, you could even write like what you think the sound would be. So there's like a really good sound about books that I've seen and I've actually bookmarked it inside of TikTok. So that's another thing to start doing is saving TikToks or Reels. Um, unfortunately, you can't download Reels, but you can download TikToks. Um, I actually use that as well to edit. So actually let's jump into the editor a little bit so I can show you guys specifically how I edit some of my videos um, inside of my favorite app, which is CapCut. I recently switched to that from InShot. It has a very, very big integration with TikTok. So let's just jump over there. Again, this is kind of summing up how I plan out all of my TikToks, just like I plan my YouTube videos. Um, and again, it's going back to what's the goal of the video, you know, that kind of thing, just figuring out some of that. 
Okay, so I'm not gonna show you everything, but this is CapCut, which is my new favorite app. Um, I love it because if you click down here, you'll see there is auto captions, so you can use the original sound and it will, within like five seconds, make all the captions for your video. Seriously, look at how fast that is. So then you can edit that by clicking uh, style. You can make it so that it has, you know, um, I like doing this one, so you can actually, See it. You can make it bigger. You can change the font. It's super, super cool. So if you are editing a video, maybe like a montage, this is a great way to do it inside of an app like CapCut. All you do is you import specific videos, crop them down. You can also um, import, uh, if you go to music or audio, you can actually extract uh, from a video that you have. So that's pretty cool. Um, so if you have downloaded a TikTok and you want to use that sound, you can extract just the sound and then actually edit it to that sound. So that's something I do quite a bit. Um, and then what you can do is you can literally export it as a specific size. So usually you want to do like the vertical size. And now you have the video on your on your phone that you can upload. Right now they have a share to TikTok option, but they have some other ones as well. What I usually do is I still upload um, specifically. So for example, if I'm uploading to YouTube Shorts, then I would go to the app and then upload it that way. So another thing that you can do is if you have created the video inside of TikTok, which is what I do a lot of the times because I'm just basically straight up recording, I will uh, export it and then upload the link to snap tick, which is a, uh, place that can actually get rid of the, uh, watermark. And then I will actually upload that to something like, you know, reels or Pinterest or whatever. So that way you can repurpose the same content and not have the watermark. Cause remember places like reels, they don't want the TikTok watermark on there. So if you are making short form content, you can either make it in-app or I recommend CapCut. Um, depends on the type of video that you are doing. So I just wanted to show you guys that if you are making content that is vertical, let me know if you want me to make more content. Um, right now, like because this video is more about planning content, I'm not gonna go through how I do everything, but I just wanted to share those tips. I am gonna be coming out at some point with a course on it, vertical video, so that is something that I'm working on. Um, it's gonna be super good and teach you a lot about the editing process as well as some of this ideation part. So hope you guys like today's video and I'll talk to you guys soon.